Hi, Birdie. <coughs> so, here's the inside of our bear proof chicken coop. It's never, a bear's never tried to get in here. But a lot of you were asking, what about this? So, Leah just filled the drinker here. And that's all it is. It's a miracle. Just a light bulb. And, it, and it's wired, hardwired right here, which comes up here. And then I added another bulb here, which may or may not work. Oh, wow. And then this is just all plugged together there. So this, just by, this one is a 43 watt which draws the equivalent of 28, I think, or something like that. You can get them at Walmart. That's all you need. And this glows at night. Can't tell now because it's not night. But we've never had any of these burn or damage the bottom, have we? Nope. Yeah, so there you go. It's kind of a fire hazard the way it's set up. Can you open that, uh, the door? Which? The, the egg door. So this egg, these egg doors are south facing <laughs> and they stick out. So you don't even have to come in here to get eggs. And this is just one of the designs that are on many coops. It's all two by six or two by 10 construction. So it's hard to get into. It's even hard for humans to get into sometimes. We don't even have a lock on it. That's pretty true, right? Yeah, it's a little stuck. And this is over. It's loose. Yeah. Just why we have this uh, flap here to hold. Yeah, it got real cold yeah. last winter, and that was a draft producer uh, reducer. And we used. Can you leave that, lean that out? We just just recycled uh, feed bags. See that? To make a flap, a winter a weatherproof flap, recycled feed bags folded. Man, that was expensive. <laughs> Cost is 11 staples. That's repurposed roof, and this is really overbuilt, but it's good because if it's a really crappy day and you got to go into the chickens, you're completely uh, protected. Uh, so this is definitely our best green, uh, chicken coop design. And in a pinch, you could rent it to somebody. <laughs> for 180 a month. You got this nice inner protected area underneath the sanctum here to completely hide if they're being chased. I recommend to have lots of areas for birds to hide uh, if you have hawk problems so they can just go hide under some structures. And also keeping fences high and close where there's not big openings is a really good strategy. Any other tips? Not at the moment. Okay, have a great day. We'll leave you with this bird. She needs some feathers.